Good afternoon everybody and welcome to uh, Big Kev's Thursday Afternoon Cook. Um, today we're going to do a pan fried fish on rice served with a um, sweet and sour chili stir fried veg. Um, so um, basically what I'll just go through the ingredients and then I'll wash my hands. What I've got is I've got some um, green beans, fresh green beans. I've got some red capsicum. I've got some bean shoots. I have some chopped coriander, some chopped red chili, some tomato ketchup, some malt vinegar, some ginger paste, one onion chopped, one lemon, uh, two lemons cut in half, half a can of um, baby corn which I've cut in half, some garlic paste, some sugar. And this fish, this fish is, um, it's um, a very nice fish. It's um, a bottom feeder. It's like a, like a cobbler, um, but it, it, you can see you can see the darkness of the of the skin. That makes it a bit strong, so it'll be really nice. Anyway, let's just wash my hands. Um, hope you've all had a good week. We had a fantastic day yesterday. It was um, that time of year again where we did a, um, a brunch for the um, BIT, Buried in Treasure Mob, um, in Stirling, Chirt Hill. Chirt Hill um, College, I think it is. Uh, went really well. We had a nice soup, uh, leek and potatoes, sandwiches, uh, Gerald's meatballs, um, uh, etc, etc. So, it, it, yeah, it was a really good day. Um, and I think we were very successful and look forward to doing more for them. Uh, what else has happened? Nothing really, it's been very cold. So let's get on. So we're gonna turn my wok on. I turn it on full. And basically what we're gonna do is uh, put some olive oil in because we're gonna cook our fish first. So about a, about a, about a tablespoon of olive oil. <clears throat> and we're gonna let that heat up, won't take too long. Um, what else have I got to tell you? Uh, well, we've, cooking's been going well. We've got our two groups going, uh, walking. Dave's here today, he's down the back. You'll see him in a minute. Um, he enjoyed yesterday as well, I think. He did most of the washing up, so that was good. Uh, what else is music's going well? Um, our meeting in the parks are going well. Um, financial year, so hopefully we'll get some finance soon and we'll be able to start our garden, our patch of hope. And the coffee and cake, we had injury matters the other day, talking about healthy living, um, which went really well. So anyway, let's get this wok on and get the heat up. I'll just move things around a bit. I've got my spoon. It's gonna get quite hot now. So I'm not gonna flour this fish or anything. I'm just gonna toss it a few pieces at a time in the oil. It will take two minutes to cook. If you could actually cook this in the sauce, in the sweet and sour sauce, but I like just to cook it a little bit first. So I'm just going to test the oil. Um, just needs it a little bit hotter. I'll let it up, come up to bubble. And um, I'll just tell you basically what we do. So we're going to fry the, fry the fish, and then we take it out and we put it on some paper, absorbent paper, just to drain the oil off. And then what we'll do, we'll put the, uh, in the same oil, we will put the onion, and then cook that a little bit. Then we'll put the beans and the um, capsicum or pepper in, the sweet corn, toss it through, then the chilies, and then we add some tomato sauce, or we'll probably put, we put some vinegar in first, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of tomato sauce. And that'll give it a red, and then um, that's the sweet and sour. The sugar makes it a little bit sweeter. The sour is obviously the, the vinegar and uh, the red tomato sauce. So here we go. Uh, let me just, no, just put a few pieces in at a time. You don't want to you don't want to flood the pan because you'll end up the oil will end up boiling rather than frying. So you can see this fish will it will curl up and like I said you don't need it for too long. It's uh, fish always cooks good and people do tend to overcook fish. And like I said, this is going to have the sauce on, so... That 
that's splashing because of the, uh, the water content of the fish. So we'll put a bit more in. And cut up, this is going to reheat in the sauce as well. No seasoning on this either. You could flour it if you want, um, but I don't bother because uh, the flour will be gloggy on it in, in the sauce. Here it's sizzling, well, you, can, you can smell that fish, you can smell it's quite a strong fish. Um, I know, I know when you go to the Chinese, sweet and sour and everything tends to be, everything tends to be in batter. You know, make sweet and sour fish balls, chicken balls, everything, but this is a bit, a bit of a healthier thing as, we're, as we, we are tending to uh, look at the healthy options. And being cooked in olive oil is another healthy thing. We'll put a last lot of fish in. It's good, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of my favourites. Um, I, I know I say that probably all the time. Hello, oh, look who it is. Hello, Dad. Hello, Hello Bo. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Oh. Beautiful. Definitely, definitely nice. Don't so add. Last time I saw one of those hats, John uh, Candy was wearing. <laughs> Who? John Candy. <laughs> and spies are us, I think it was. <laughs> yeah, so Bo, I was just saying today we're doing some fish. Yeah. Um, no doubt you haven't eaten for a week. That's right, I've been waiting for this day. Yeah. I'm down to the bone, Kevin. Yeah, I was going to say that. Whale <laughs> bone? No, I'm only joking. Uh, Okay, so we've got our fish out. Now we're going to put in our onion. We're going to break it up a bit. And we're going to put in some garlic. Is that alright with you, Dave? Uh, yeah. A little splash of garlic? Indeed, uh, a bit more. <laughs> I love the colours of all the vegetables. It looks so vivid. Yeah, it's a, beautiful. It is a colourful dish. So we're just going to soften these onions up. With the garlic, mm, I'm beginning to smell it now. And you'll also have a bit of the flavour from the fish in there. Um, the fish, the, 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 sorry, I didn't tell you, the fish is flathead. Um, New Zealand flathead, and like I said, it's a bottom fish, it's like a catfish sort of thing, it's a really nice fish. Um, and the bottom feeders, that's what I say, because that way they're, it's a stronger fish, you can see in the colour of the spine. So anyway, that's our onions going, look at that. So now we're going to put a little bit of ginger in. Okay. Ginger relish. We like ginger, don't we? Turn that wok down a bit. Now we're going to put in our beans and our capsicum. Colourful, mm. like both. Yeah. Just tossing that through. The ginger and the garlic. No, good. Yeah, you smell the ginger garlic. Now we're going to put our corn in. Like bamboo shoots? <laughs> I was thinking of that today actually, and uh, I even contemplated uh, doing the fish in sesame seeds. <laughs> our long standing joke, which you all know about, Mr. G. <laughs> so, you see how they're tossing through there? Mm. And then we're going to add our chilies. Just one, one, just one red chili, which I've, I've de-seeded. Because um, the seeds are the real hot piece. And uh, give it a bit more of a stir. So you've got, you've got your red, your green and your yellow there, of colours. I'm just going to squeeze it. Come on. Two. That's going to be lovely. Three. Two lemons. 
rice on it. Turn the rice on, it might, it's just taking its time, so you might have to have a coffee break. <laughs> He's got his devil t-shirt on today. Seize <laughs> the night, carpe de noctem, <laughs> underground. Is that right? Yes. Uh, right, yeah. okay, so we've got that cooking. We're just going to sweat them off a bit more. Um, By, by the word sweat is a, a term we use in the kitchen. It's basically to uh, cook, cook it a bit more. Sweating uh, is cooking without colour, basically. Um, so you often hear that word sweat. You know, you sweat onions off and uh, etc. See, now you can feel them. They're just getting a little bit soft in here. Oh, beautiful. Mm. Now what we're going to add is a splash of vinegar. Those again imperial measures. So about a third to a quarter of a cup. Give that a good stir. And now a squirt of the old tomato ketchup. Again, about twice as much as the oil, uh, the vinegar you use, and uh, you could use a tomato paste, but tomato ketchup has got that distinct flavour. You won't need any sugar now. You put the ketchup in, will you? Well, it depends. Sweet ketchup. And sour. Yeah. I know you're not. You don't want it sweet, but it is sweet and sour. But you just want to check. Check because I put lemon juice in. So I love lemon. That's nice. You're quite right, though. I won't be putting sugar in that. Good. The ketchup is nice and sweet anyway. Like you, Kev. Super. So keep that up, I marry you. <laughs> 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 I know, but I know how much com how much competition I'm in these days. <laughs> how is Devil Boy? <laughs> He's not allowed in my house. All right, well we won't we won't talk about that anymore. No. Okay, so there's the vegetables. We might just have to have to have a little bit of a pause for the rice. Um, so okay. That's it, we'll just let that cook off. Um, our last two ingredients we'll be putting in will be the um, bean sprouts and the coriander. Put a little bit in that and the rest will go as a garnish on top of the, the fish. Um, so yeah, sorry guys, just waiting for the, um, for the rice to come. But what I'm going to do anyway is uh, show you basically what we're going to do. Gonna put this fish back in. Oh, it looks so luscious. Beautiful. And we'll just turn it back on again. Now just you just want to toss this through because you don't want to break the fish up too much. Oh nice. Now it's all the coating. Yep. So you get that. Now we put the bean shoots, because these take seconds to cook. They're even better off, you know, fresh. Mm. Yeah, they're nice and crunchy raw, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, I like them in a salad roll. So, and they just give the Asian style. <laughs> so guys, you know, you don't even have to have rice with this, but I've got rice cooking, but this will be it. And so I'm gonna turn that off and, and, and show you, it can be served just as a, a dish on the plate like that. Make sure you get some fish in there and some of the other stuff. Mm. The beans. Nice. Oh, and then mouth watering. Just a sprinkle of coriander. Mm. And a little bit more. <coughs> 
Yeah, little sweet corns. Yeah, little sweet corns. I've got the bamboo shoots. What was that, sorry? I've got the bamboo shoots. <laughs> no, we've had that joke already. <laughs> and, um. <clears throat> there you have it. That's, that's, that's the basic. Now, like I say, I've got rice on. You could serve that on, on that on top of a bed of rice. But that on its own is beautiful. Okay, guys. Um, Short and sweet. Sorry about the rice. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.